and get a win, break a, a losing streak. What was the general mood and reaction in the locker room? What did you see out there that you liked tonight from your team? Defensive intensity at the start, and I thought that was critical. You know, you're on the road, you play a team that has a lot of offensive weapons, you gotta, you got to get into them. And then I thought it really sort of propelled our offense as well. You know, you're getting stops and we got comfortable scoring the ball. You know they're going to make some runs at you, which they always do. And uh, you know, we kind of kept the lead, and that was that was important. A couple of plays, um, especially the towards the end, where just even after made baskets, you guys were able to push the ball up and get guys open. Yeah, we're always going to do that. You know, we're always going to try to play as fast as we can. We're always going to look ahead and attack. You know, we try to get down before they set. You know, because you know, they're. They got really good quickness, and they could switch, and you know they could go to the zone, they could go to the one-three-one. So you get it down quickly, you know, you sort of you know force them to match up. Did you notice any difference between this Michigan team and the team you faced about six weeks ago? Uh, I think you know, I think you're seeing a, a really aggressive, you know, Zach Irvin. I think he, and that's important. You know, Walton and Irvin have really been aggressive. Uh, you know, I think you're getting good productivity out of a lot of different people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a team that you really have to focus on stopping because of all the different action that they run at you. you know, John's offense is well known nationally. And there's all kinds of counters and dribble ads and flare screens and ball screens, ball screen again. I mean, you, you got to really stay after it if you're going to stop. Them. And, and, and we didn't give up any back doors. We didn't give up really very many easy layups. Hit some threes, but that was one of the else. When did you know Jared was going to have such a big night? You got those first yesterday. three to fall yesterday? Yeah, he was, he was, you know, really like himself. I mean, great practice days up to this game. You know, I thought last game, that last game was closer. You know, you look and say, well, it wasn't his usual game, but, you know, he still had 18 and 8. That's a sign of a, an All-American. You get 18 and 8, and he was like, well, he didn't have a great game. So uh, I think his mindset was to come out aggressive again, just like he did before. And when he's playing like that, it changes everything for us. Offensively, you were aggressive right off, out of the shoot. Seemed to get open looks. You're knocking down some shots. I think the, the scary thing about that, Scott, is you, we settled a little bit, I think, in the beginning because they were going in. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a little jump shot happy. I think you know, we're a team that we're at our best when we're mixing it. The drives, the kicks, and the post feeds, set plays, motion. That's what we tried to do a little more in the second half. There was that inbounds play. I think you were up eight or seven or something like that, where Utah took it right out of the inbound and, and had a layup and a foul. Was that designed for him to take it to go that way? There's various options in that play. It's all a function of where they are. If they were up. You know, they're behind. They're going to be up. They're going to be aggressive. I can't remember, Scott, if, if they still had a foul to give or not. Uh, I don't, because when they started pressing, they only had committed three fouls, so they had fouls to give. So we were, we were in that mode of, okay, if they all come up, then you're going to send somebody long. So you know, you're going to go different directions. And it's not just get it in the mic. That pick, pickpocket play by Gazelle seemed to really help you guys close well, one out. Well, finish. Yeah. It, you know, it was a heck of a finish. Because you're thinking they might foul him, and he, he, he rode him, and he played great defense. He did not foul him. Mike had to make a tough finish. That was, that was huge. And you're up five, and then Clemens hits that three from the corner. That was well, we needed to the score at that point. They cut it, it was what, it was 13 to five pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we needed to get that third possession lead. And, you know, that was huge. Big picture. Um, obviously better to finish with a win than a five-game losing streak. How do you guys feel going into Indianapolis? Well, like, I, like I said, I feel like we made great strides in the last couple of games. I thought we competed hard against Wisconsin. I thought we competed hard against Ohio State. And same for Indiana. We lost three really good teams, but a really good team tonight. We played better. But you know, we're we're fighting, you know, you're back to you know, nineteen assist eight turns, that's more like us. Same thing last game. Hadn't been like that for a little while, so that's good to see.